nice was it for the change since the starter scored 42 and it contributed 40? Yeah, I mean, we've talked about depth in the preseason a lot and just kind of what we brought in this offseason. And so tonight it just showed, like, we go to our bench and they produce. And they did a great job. They brought a lot of energy. And they knew it, they knew what was going on. They executed. And that was a great team win from – starters to the bench players that got on the floor to just the, everyone else on the bench cheering us on. I mean, the energy, you could just feel it, and it we really fed off it for sure. Jamie, did you guys kind of, those of you that knew you were going to come off the bench, feel like you had to be aggressive today? It was, whether you started or not, you had to act on that. I definitely think that's the – the idea, no matter what, every game you should think like that coming off the bench. I think um, we're supposed to be a spark, and you know you got to do what you got to do, no matter what. So we just wanted to continue and actually push past, if we could, what the starters were already doing. So I think we all stick together and we do what we need to do together as a one. So that was a part of our um, thought process. Defensively, what was the attitude change? Because your extension from the exhibition game. Ryan said it wasn't really defensive scheme adjustment, it was just attitude. Mm -hmm. What did you guys talk about to get those shots closed down? In the locker room at half, we just talked about how we're at our best when we can get out, run, get in transition. And in order to do that, we got to get stops and rebounds. So I think there was just a mentality change of for our offense to translate, like we need to get it done on the defensive end. So we locked down, um, really took – it personal, I think, a little bit more. Got those boards a little bit better, and then we were able to get out, run, and that's, I think, when the game opened up. I also think – oh, sorry. I also think we were locked in the whole week of practice. I think it started in practice, and I think we both probably felt that we were ready. Mm -hmm. Like, the energy in practice the past couple of days, the focus, the level of focus, I think it was all there, and we were ready to come out here and do what we needed to do. Mm -hmm. How nice is that for you to have? So that when you're making <laughs> that drive in the paint and you get stopped, you can see Kaylin right there. Here, you take it. <laughs> or, or Vaz. Yeah, or it's very nice just to know that there's so many weapons on that floor at one time. Um, as a point guard, that's kind of your dream to be able to get in there and then kind of have your pick and choose of, you know, where you're going with it and having the confidence to know, all right, if I go here, they're going to knock it down. If I go here, they're going to finish. And so just to have a lot of people out there on that floor getting um, their stuff done is just its very encouraging, very <laughs> awesome. It seems like last year you didn't always have that. So yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah. And there's going to be ebbs and flow to this season too. I mean, some people are going to have off nights and there's going to be off games for the team. But, um, yeah, coaches did a great job. Got a lot of great players on this team. We're very deep, like I said. So, mm -hmm. um a lot of weapons, which is very helpful. <laughs> I feel like Ryan made a big deal out of her size. Obviously, that size. You didn't seem to have any fear going into practice. Was that just part of an aggressive nature that you were not going to try and go over the period to quick correct it? <laughs> I mean, I think it helps when you have shooters on the court. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> we had to spread them so much in the help that I didn't feel that if it's one on one, me versus one other person, I think I could kind of make it now um or i have somebody if they're gonna all collapse it's a knockdown three for anybody i don't care who it is so i think that makes it a lot easier to want to be attacker and it you know just like the depth that she was talking about um you have to guard us which one are you going to choose so i think that's really exciting and as a team we're just hard to guard in that sense Yeah, I think that was an ultimate confidence boost, and I think it started on the bench. Mm -hmm. I mean, looking over, when you knock down a shot and you look over and you see everyone on that bench that's so excited, they're jumping up, they're screaming for you, I mean, there's no better feeling in the world. And then the crowd got involved, and I think we just kind of all fed off of it, and we knew at that point, I think when they called that timeout, that this was ours and we weren't looking back. Definitely. Oh, it's what's best for the team. I think um, I want the win. That's my biggest, biggest goal every single game is stats don't matter if we don't win, you know. 
And then my next thing is assist to turnover ratio. I mean, I love assists, but I also want to make sure I'm taking care of the ball. As a point guard, that's kind of our job. So I don't focus necessarily on assists, just how efficient I am and what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Chris, you did talk about that. I mean, with you and Justin on the court at the same time, you guys talked about some play styles. Mm -hmm. Personally, mm -hmm. are you happy with the way you, because you were one of the best teams in the nation with turnover and assist rate. Yeah. You kind of kept that pace. Yeah. How many turnovers did we have? Does anyone know? That's not bad. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of our goal point. is to just really be efficient with the ball, take care of it, um, try and get a great shot every right. every possession, whether it goes in or not. As long as we're getting great shots, uh, they're going to fall at some point. How much of this did you just need to see from that game? I mean, you've seen stuff from practice, but to come out with a win like this and build that kind of margin, what does this do for a team? I think it's a confidence booster for us. We've been working so hard against each other, like every day, <laughs> which gets tiring, but it just shows how we have been preparing each other. And that's very exciting for all of us to be able to go out there and to compete against another team together. And I think that just brings us closer and closer and we're encouraging each other. Our bench is amazing. Mm -hmm. And I feed off of them so much. When we come off the court, they are cheering you on. They are trying to slap your hand so hard. <laughs> where They're trying to get you water. Like, whatever you need, they're there. So I think that's exciting. And that's the type of team that we want moving forward. Um, yeah, I think just kind of the way the game goes kind of dictates how many minutes I'll get. Um, but shoot, I want to play 40 every game. I know that's not realistic, but that's just kind of the player I am. I want to be out there and help my team. So um, whenever they put me in there, I'm just looking to, to do what I can to mm -hmm. make this team better. Mm -hmm.